Hi guys, I'm Christian from the Philippines and this is my story. Way back 2018, I was 16. I celebrated the Christmas Day, the New Year's Eve, and most of the days of December all by myself for the reason that my aunt's family decided to have a vacation in our province and I had to stay because I was quite busy and of course I had many commitments in, at school and with my organizations and clubs so on and so forth so basically I had to <laughs> yeah. and at first if you were given a chance to be alone for the whole month uh, they, they had just given me an allowance to survive for those important holidays Christmas Day the New Year's Eve and uh, for me to survive the remaining days so because my aunt's family will be returning at the second week of January so I had to manage my own finances for th those days and at first it was a good experience for me how uh, because it taught me how to be independent at the very young age and of course uh, it was a very good <laughs> opportunity for me to do whatever I want and to learn something that I should be careful uh, with what I do because with power comes great opportunity blah 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 yada 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 and yet uh, at the second thought uh, I was quite sad knowing the fact that for those important dates and for additional note my name is Christian and the reason why my name is Christian because I was born after Christmas December 26th and yet I'm celebrating it all alone well as a 19 year old young adult it's okay to be alone but a uh, way back 16 at, the, at that kind of age I felt lonely I felt sadness because uh, why should I be experiencing that well well you can say that it's your choice that you decided to stay but there's also a deep uh, reason why I having I'm having that kind of emotion uh, because in our family structure uh, the person or the people that helped with my upbringing uh, were my grandmother and with other relatives. So basically, I didn't grow. I didn't grow up with the help or without the supervision of my own family by blood. So you know, it's like I'm suffering the consequences of the past generations or how do i put this it's like the mistakes that my parents had uh, in their relationships it is the children or it is i who suffered most especially i didn't know how to be loved by a father or even a mother because i was sent away to be taken care of my other relatives but at first when i was young when i was younger i didn't see that as a as a problem but as i began to grow older it dawned on me why am i experiencing this well my realization would be there are still questions in my own life that are left unanswered and will never be answered because you know i'm already growing up as an adult and I don't even know um, how to talk with them so with that being said instead of crying all about it whining it all about uh, like oh I am very miserable something like that well just because you're a product of a broken family it doesn't mean that uh, you're too broken to build something good what I did um, on that day or on that month is I decided to make something different, to make something meaningful. So, so I invited two of my classmates on my birthday. So I only had two classmates who accepted my request. 
And yet, we tried uh, to talk about the plans of that day. We went to a supermarket and uh, bought some ingredients. Uh, so bought some pastas, sauces, and onions, and so much more. Because we're trying to cook uh, spaghetti in our house. So after we bought the goods, we went home and uh, consulted or watched uh, YouTube YouTube videos on how to make a good quality kind uh, pasta and yet we did it <laughs> so after that we tried to transfer it in a styrofoam container and on that day we have accumulated or we have cooked more than 80 pasta uh, inside the containers well the plan was um, on my birthday instead of spending my allowance or spending my money for myself by enjoying i try to give give back by making you know some spaghetti uh and just have given myself uh, a mini outreach so after we've cooked it we transferred those pasta into a container box uh it's like uh, a box where we put our clothes uh, in the Philippines and yet it's quite big because we, it's more than 80 pieces of pasta so we need a bigger container to put it into and yes it's, it was quite heavy but we three managed to lift it up and we called the taxi and we tried to travel from one street to another tried to give it back to random street people, street children that we have met along the way. And we started our journey from the streets of uh, some commercial establishments. Because uh, here in the Philippines, most street people gathered in one place. Or they gather to restaurants, churches, so on and so forth. So we, di we decided to be uh, present on those kind of streets and establishments and yes we did find them so from one street to another we, we're just walking because we don't have a car to transport kind of food so basically uh, i was carrying that kind of a uh, big container box and it was really quite heavy as a 16 year old kid so i had found a rope and attached it on the edge of the box and instead of carrying it we're just strolling it around so we spent three hours walking from one street to another and yes it was a memorable experience even though it's tiring for my female classmates but all in all it was good so after the three hours of walking and giving out some pasta along the along the road or along the streets, we took a break, just a thirty-minute break because we're our feet, our feet are you know weary, something like that. And we have uh, found a group of street children, especially in uh, in churches or in our school, and. In the Philippines so basically uh, it was good that our pasta are are being consumed less by less because I really am praying that I do hope we can find uh, street children street people because if we don't all of our efforts would be put into waste or put into vain so it's good that we're almost uh, in the half of our pasta so after that we took another round of walking from one street to another and yet uh, we also tried giving it to or giving those to random strangers that we've met it doesn't matter if you're a street kid a street person it doesn't matter if you're just a random strang uh, stranger we just give it away especially uh, you know it's good to challenge yourself if are you you know are you scared to make uh, good things to other people or something like that and yes we did it 
and um, and as the sun as the sun is setting up, uh, I tried to treat my two female classmates because uh, they said yes to my request, and of course, uh, it's not just uh, their time uh, that they sacrifice, but also their effort from walking for hours. So with that, I treated them in a restaurant that that's a bit cheap, but it's worth it. Especially uh, I, our economic status is not that comfortable. So basically, um, we're just getting by. But it doesn't mean that we're too limited to give back to those people who are really in need. And after that, uh, it, it's really getting dark and uh, help them to get home and again uh, the pasta is almost uh, consumed and i had to carry the that kind of container box <laughs> that big box from from where uh, i am standing back then up to our house and i i was really tired back then because of the walk the heavy lifting so I took another break and went into a computer shop, played games for almost three hours. And after that, I also uh, gave one, um, some pasta to the clerk or to the computer shop staff. So that, and she greeted me back. And so it's a good uh, experience for me. Why? Because she, have, she had given me a discount. <laughs> and after that, uh three hours of gaming online uh i uh, went home at midnight and after that right right in the morning my body's quite aching uh, especially because of what we did yesterday on that day and all in all it was a very good uh experience not just for me but for those people that i have uh you know invited my two classmates especially even though my all of my expenses just had just costed me 20 dollars or in philippine peso more than 1000 peso but it i earned so much more an experience a meaningful moment and it built it built my character to be uh to say yes to this kind of things and to say yes to helping people and of course um, to say yes to the things that would make my life even more meaningful and you know what guys what I realized um, it's better to to have those kind of uh, experiences um, you know why? Uh, it's because it really will give you this kind of attitude in life or realization in life that uh, it's not just about you. The world doesn't re revolve ab around you. So your problems in your life are just some tests to build uh, your character uh, through time. So sorry guys if I'm not good in English. I'm still trying to be good at it. But I do hope you're getting my point and uh, you know the motivation of my story that if I can do it, though I'm poor, yes, I admit that we're poor and uh, I'm still depending uh, from the help of my relatives back then. And it it was a good lesson for me to experience so all the bad things all the bad stuff um it's okay <laughs> because i am um i'm now contented even though my family you know will never be normal and that's something that i already accepted as a truth in my life yes we cannot change the past but we can change something to build something today that we could see it in the future and again guys i really am excited to tell you more of my stories and my name is christian and that's it for today <laughs> see you again and thank you for listening